Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal Mr. Butter coming back at you. Today I want to get into an OG colorway of a pair of Jordans. This is actually the Jordan 13 Playoffs. And I think this pair originally came out in 1998. The Jordan brand re-released these this year and it's supposed to be the closest to the original that we've ever gotten. I was able to grab these during the shop drop on the sneakers app the other day, but I think they'll officially release on the 18th of February. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Jordan 13 playoffs. All right, so you can see that we got a pretty standard box. The Jumpman is red, which I guess kind of matches the shoe, but we have a pretty standard 13 box here. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's just gray in color. The tag reads Air Jordan 13 Retro. The colors are black, true red, and white. I grabbed a size 10 and a half in these, and the retail price is $210. A lot of Jordans have been sitting and people have actually been able to cop for less than retail. I figured I probably would have been able to get these from finish line and maybe I could have used some status points and gotten some money off. However, this being an OG, I don't have any OG 13s in my collection and i just wanted to be sure that i could secure a pair of these so i went ahead and grabbed them on the shock drop i do think there's going to be high numbers of these and i do think they'll be pretty easy to get let me know if you think that you'll be able to grab these for below retail or not it seems like it's split down the middle for people that say i definitely need them and then a lot of people just have no interest in them at all I don't mind that I paid full price on these. Even if they do go on sale, I think it was worth it to secure my pair early. I think they're dope. I think they're really dope. I think having these in hand, it's like going back in a time machine. I think they originally dropped in 98, and I didn't realize that Jordan wore them first in an All-Star game, but he did then wear them in the playoffs, but I don't think he won in this shoe. I think he had gone on to the 14 whenever they actually won, but he wore these in the playoffs in the 97-98 season. It's definitely got all those classic 13 characteristics. You know, it was inspired by the Black Panther, and you can see that evidenced by the pads on the outsole. And then, of course, they call those holograms the cat eye. And we've also got all these divots up here, which a lot of people refer to as the whiskers. Overall, my first impression of these is just that they're dope. They look like they did back in the 90s, and I really appreciate that. I think the little hits of yellow, like where you see the Jordan there at the bottom of the tongue, and then that yellow circle up there on the top of the tongue surrounding that red jump man, I think it's dope looking. I think there's just enough color on these to make them pop, but still having that full black upper, it just looks tough to me. But getting into the review, you can see that we've got this herringbone traction, both under the forefoot and the heel. And like I said before, it was inspired by a panther paw. And it's just such a unique look. I think this design is timeless. And I love these colors. I like how the border is that nice bright red. You have the carbon fiber there at the midfoot. And these nice little jewels here with the jump man on them that really pop off of there. But all this herringbone traction is bright white. In between these little traction pods, it's all a nice gray color. But I just think it comes together so well on there. I mean, it looks like it's futuristic. And this was designed 25 years ago. I believe that they re-released these because it's the 25-year anniversary of when this shoe first came out. You can see these kind of circular areas where the midsole kind of comes out from the shoe and i think looking down on that it's such a cool look but i've always liked the way that this kind of felt material also comes down to the midsole to meet these pod areas but you can see that's all just a bright white color it really pops with the majority of the upper being just dark black i like the way that white really shines off of there that white midsole meets this black felt material that you have both on the midsole 
and then wrapping up to the upper of the shoe it just kind of continues on there sometimes you get a lot of glue stains down here in the corner but on this pair they look really clean they came out really well but you can see that we just have this black felt it's not a suede it's a synthetic material but we have this black felt down here at the base and then up surrounding that hologram hopefully you can get a good look at that sometimes it's hard to get just the right angle on there as we come to the toe box of the shoe we just have this black leather it's not the softest feeling it probably does have a little bit of a synthetic feel but it looks really nice it's got that tumbled texture on it and it's just a nice black color but we have that for the base of the toe box and then we also have these padded areas where we get all these dimples that is more of that textured black leather and i think it looks really really cool on there i also just love the shape of those overlays i think it gives the shoe such a cool effect but like I pointed out before, we've got this Jordan branding here at the base of the tongue in yellow. And I like the way that that pops off of there. And then for our tongue, it's more that black felt material. And we've got some black rope style laces on here. And I really like the way this branding came out at the top of the tongue. Just that yellow circle with the red jump man. I forget if that's exactly how it was in 98, but either way, I think it looks dope. And we've got a black sock liner and our insole is black and it has a red jump man down on there but that was a pretty quick look at these i know i went through that pretty fast but i think this is a dope looking pair of kicks i'm glad to have this og colorway in my collection like i said it's the only og colorway of a 13 that i have but i think these are dope i think they're well worth picking up if you can get them below retail then i think that's a buy all day for me i didn't mind paying full retail because i really wanted to have this piece of history in my collection but let me know what you all think about them and i'll catch you on the next one i'm out